Hello Electro readers, my name is Benedict and I will show you today the new Electro Linux board. Um, this here is the old version or the, the known version and, and this is the new version and you see it's nearly the same as the old version and new is a network connector here. We have got a real time clock on the board directly and we have here um, a connector um, with the plastic around it that it's clear where the pin um, one number one is. And um, a small another thing is that we have bigger holes here. Um, that means that you can put um, bigger screws into the board if you will screw it to the wall or something like this. Yes, this is the first one. Um, we um, used it um, same as the old version. We have the mini USB connector here for power and the serial monitor. And here is the network interface. I can plug in directly to this board. Um, another thing, what new is, is that we change the file system. Okay, I start here the booting process. I have here my command line and the serial terminal. I need my local password. And now I see it boot. Now this is an old error. Um, and here you, you see the new thing. Um, the new file system we used an X4. Um, in the first version, you, we used an X2, then we um, uh, did an update to the X3, and now we used an X4. This is a very robust file system. That means um, when we lost power during we um, um, work with the board or application um, is running, that's no problem. In the old version, we had um, file system checks, or in the first version, it was corrupted the file system. I'll show you more here. I disconnected, I put off the power. You see, I lost also my connection with the terminal. Then I replug it again. We look to the boot um, window, and normally we should um, see it normally boot without any uh, messages that he lost any things in the file system. This is a new feature of the board. You see the X file is mounted here. And noble boost boot goes down. That's no problem. And then we can normally um, log into the board with our root account. Root and here we are in the Knoblin. Okay, um, next step I will show you how you can use the network connection and also um, I um, show you the real time clock. Um, the important thing for all readers is the new thing on the home page. Here this is the elector.com. It also works with the uh, other languages. And here's a new um, navigation inside the website, the Gnublin. And you can go on that and then you find many many um, modules and links for all the um, Electro Linux Nublin family. Um, that means um, important for us now is the wiki because in that wiki we find many technical things and um, descriptions and um, how we can start the network and something like this. Here, It's also available in the German language or in the English um, language here. It's the same wiki. We translate all the things. And now we work with the Gnublin LAM and you find here a port a Gnublin LAN. This is the version here, like we see it. Um, because we will now activate the network interface. And that means we need a driver. And this described here in this thing, configure LAM. Um, this is the command line for the um, driver. This is the ENC28. Um, and chip. Uh, this is a um, typical microcontroller network interface. We put it here because our processor hasn't got an internal network adapter. Um, so we put this um, with SPI to the board. And um, we, now we need an EOQ pin as an interrupt pin and also a chip select um, pin. So we can try it um, over the command line how it works. I changed back to the console. This is this here. I copied um, the command with my mouse here in my Linux box inside. Only and I go, th and then I can press the middle um, mouse button or I have a notebook here, I press uh, both um, buttons together. 
and then it's copied inside this window, this very practical. Okay, then I can um, load this, I get the message, I can view with the message if all's okay. There's no negative, as a registered, bound, looks very good. Okay, normally you can um, um, choose with, uh, um, um, look with IF config uh, what interfaces you have on your Linux system. And here you see only the LO, the loopback. Um, no, but we have an external interface, that means we need another. With minus A, um, you find all uh, network interfaces that are um, possible to use, but they're not activated. Now we can activate our new interface with this command. And now if we call efconfig, you see the ETH0 um, interface, um, it's available. Now we can um, get um, an IP address with the this is the DHC client um, because I have here um, my local network I have here a DHCP server running okay now if we look with efconfig again now we find an IP address here and that's the IP address that we get now for example we can go into the world wide web we can ping electro.com and get a result. Yeah, now we are online with this small um, board. That's very nice. Okay, now the question is how we can go automatically online every time the boot is started. We find this information also in the wiki. That's what we have done at the moment. Um, the next step is that we um, will it load automatically. This is, um, that means we have to put the driver into the file etc modules um, here inside and then the module is automatically loaded during the boot. Okay, I copy it with this mouse again. Um, then I type nano, this is the editor. I put this thing here, edit etc modules. There. And then we are in this file. This is at the moment empty. And now I copy this line here inside my file. So with um, control O I write and control X I closed the editor. Okay, um, that's the first step and the next step is that we have to um, um, define or configure the network interface. At the moment I have done this with the command DHCP client um, but we can also put this into a fixed um, file I see here's an error in the wiki because I read it a few um, moments before I changed this um, um, after the video um, now we have to put um, um, activate the network interface that means we need these um, files here but we have to put it in this file nano etc network interfaces. This is the places where we um, can add or configure all our network interfaces. Okay, and we see here the default configuration um, with ETH0, INET, DHCP. It's in the, this is a an, um, an new um, SD card and every reader has got the same result. Only one thing is there and um, what uh, uh, we if missing is um, that the um, network chip, the ENC, um, haven't got a fixed uh, MAC address. And every time we get an order we, we request for an IP, we get a new IP because our DHCP um, server um, don't remember that we was this the last same time. Um, that means we can give them here an IP address, uh, a MAC address by ourselves for this interface. So now we have a fixed interface. Okay, uh, now we can restart. Um, I, you see I always write um, sync, uh, the sync command. Um, this is important um, for the file system. At the moment which when I call this command all open blocks um, from a write from the RAM to the um, fl flashes and something like this um, that means after an sync, if I disconnect it, 
the board or files are really on the file system if the sync command is ready. Um, if you create a file and disconnect it and you don't call sync or the um, file system doesn't this do this automatically, the file is often reboot not in the system, it's lost. Um, that's a good um, thing to to be sure that the file is really on the SD card. In your application, for example, you can call very often sync if you have very inf important information that you will write to your disk and um, you will never lost it during a power less. Okay, and then we can reboot. And normally we should start with an IP address. Here you see the old um, X2 um, that, um, file system. Um, at, at the moment we have three partitions. Um, the second partition is um, um, an old X, X2 um, file system. But um, there's only the kernel inside um, and we read only from the kernel file. That means um, there is no chance to have a corrupted file system because it's a read-only file system and we only copy the kernel because the bootloader can only read X2 or X3 um, file system, not X4 at the moment. Now um, my systems ask my um, server for an IP address. Normally you should get one. Yes, here bounded. And now I have an IP address automatically. Next time I should get the same um, IP address because I have now a fixed MAC address put into my system. Okay. Now, if we wish to connect over the network to the console, we can do this with SSH. Um, but this means that we um, need a password um, in the Knoblin, and we have to give one the first time. I give root as password because SSA might need a password. Okay, I open a new terminal, just this here, and now I connect, I find my IP here. Where's my IP? Here, this is the IP my board and I go to SSH, you add the IP, I copy it is also together and put it with the both mouse clicks, uh, mouse buttons. Now I will ask about if this is okay, yes, reviewed and I'm with over the network on my board. Yeah. And here we find all the well-known Knublin tools, for example, GPIO, Knublin, the Knublin tools here, and we have example, GPIO tools and the known um, LED. The red LED is on number three and as output and the value one, and now we see it here, it's under the um, battery the LED here, it goes red, on and off. Yeah, this with the battery if, uh, thing, um, we need, uh, well, we haven't much more place on the board, and but we would place the um, battery holder here, um, but now it's on the SD card and the red LED is under um, this holder. You can also um, put this around this um, battery holder here on downside, and then we can put uh, some feeds on your board and like this, then it's better for it depends on your application, also you have to choose by yourself what's better. Okay, let's have a look at the, the RTC, the real-time clock. We can use, also normally you can go on the wiki here, uh, main page, and find information for the um, clock, real-time clock here you find the information. It's the same as the module, the commands. For example, with, with this Knublin um, 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 tool, you can read um, the um, things from the chip, from the controller, it's with G to get. And we'll show it on the command line. Yeah, this is an old um, date because I always uh, take this here. Um, that's the way you can set up a new um, time inside the real-time clock. 
and that's why we have always this them thing and with this minus x we can take this um, command over to the system clock so now if I call date I have the same thing as the real time clock and after a um, reboot or if you lost the power um, the clock runs further and further and will never forget anything um, this is the real time clock um, you can also control the, the relay further it's GPIO 18 was output 1 listen yes this is the same old way like in the old book yeah that was the first steps with the new Electro Gnoblin Linux board I hope you have many fun and we will show you many many things with embedded Linux um, and hope you have fun Okay, bye.